Greetings everybody, Irv Lindsay here. I'm at my computer today, I want to share a resource with you guys that I found recently. It's called oldmapsonline.org, alright? Okay, the way this works is you go here and you type in, for instance, I just typed in Cincinnati. Zooms you into whatever you type in up here, alright? Then over here, I'm just going to move my camera over, this is, this is my ghetto way of filming what's on my screen. Um, over here, it'll give you a list of maps, all right? So, um, now here we have in the sidebar, there's a list of maps here, and it took me a moment to kind of sift through it to find what I wanted. Official city plan of Cincinnati. You click on it, pops out your little, your little side, um, your little side view thing, all right? And then you have the option to view this map. Now, sometimes, uh, for instance, if I click on this one, um, let me see, let me find one. Okay, doesn't it? Sometimes it'll let you do an um, let you do an overlay, so it'll show you this map overlaid on top of Go the current Google Map, but that doesn't that doesn't allow this. So let me click on View This Map. So as a matter of, um, it kind of has it just in this little square here. Is Burnett Woods. Now, if you go along here, you can just kind of follow this map is from 19, what I say, 1925, green dots. Green dots on this map denote um, a planned thoroughfare. So if you know if you know the city well enough, which I don't, uh, you would know that, oh, you know, they were planning to either expand this or run something completely new. Now, what's really cool about this is you can see where old stuff was. You see one of these big black circles? That means they're going to, I think that means that's a planned zone to build a school. Um, and you can just kind of see, now look right here, this is interesting. Uh, Miami and Erie Canal Bed. Isn't that interesting? Um, so it shows you where the canal bed used to be, which, um, uh, you know, we know that today is Central Parkway. I want to skip ahead to a couple of things that are going to be the basis of some videos I'm going to do. A lot of you may recognize this little segment of town right here. You can see where they have these black circles, which is three future schools that they're planning on building. And you look at this little green dotted line. Look at this potter's field, which is right next to the Jewish cemetery. This is important. I'll show you why. Because we all know the Price Hill Potter's Field we all know where it's at, right? It's just off, I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce G-U-E-R-L-Y. Is that, is that, I'm not even going to try to pronounce it. You guys know what, what the name of it is. Um, you see where we have this green dotted space that's a planned, that's where they're going to build um, Rapid Run Park. And this map, Rapid Run, dead ends into um, Glenway. But you can see, once again, the green dots indicate the future expansion of the street and the building of Rapid Run Park. But this puts to rest some of the debates of whether or not the Potter's Field really was part of uh, Rapid Run Park. Because you can see here, this is an official City of Cincinnati planning map. This is located on, located on the Harvard website. And you can see that, yes, indeed, the Potter's Field did cut into a significant part of modern-day Rapid Run Park. Now, I've got a lot of uh, screen caps of different, um, different maps. I want to show you guys, if you're interested in this, I'm very interested in this type of stuff. Give me just a moment, I'll pull them up. Um... So before we start and get into the older maps, check out this. This is a current map um, from Google Maps. It's actually a screenshot. It's, this isn't a live Google Map. Um, it's a screenshot of the Rapid Run Park area as it looks today with this silly little body of water. Um, the Dunham Recreation Complex up here. The Jewish Cemetery over here. And this, no longer marked, it looks like it's part of Rapid Run Park. It's now been absorbed into the park. Still owned by the city, from what I understand, is the Potter's Field, all right? Here is another uh, another map of the Potter's Field and um, the, the Price Hill Potter's Field and surrounding area. You can see in this map, uh, I think this is um, from the 50s, 1950s or 1960s, I forget which. Uh, but you, anyway, you can see they've already developed Rapid Run Park. Uh, you can even see this 
this little body of water here. I hesitate to call that a pond. I've been out, I've been out there. I know what it looks like. And uh, during the summer, it dries up because it's only a couple of feet deep. Um, so you have the you have the Potter's Field marked up here on this side of the street, right? Looky here, you can see not only you can see where this row of houses is, you can see that you can see the driveway right there it was literally right there next to that very last house and it went right up there and it quickly cut across diagonally across a potter's field all right and you can even see in the potter's field where um my understanding there was a caretaker that lived there um so you can see there were a couple of structures in the potter's field you can even see where they were used to be located so if anybody wanted to go out there with a machete and hack their way through the woods and find that um i, I don't i don't know if i'm willing to do that or not but i would love to um i would love to if somebody knew more about that but anyway this is an interesting map if you travel up the street you can even see the complete layout of the old Dunham Hospital complex I love this stuff guys I love it uh, this got all torn down some of these buildings over here in the back are still here this building here I believe is now a um, I believe that's now a museum but I wonder what that little black dot is right there y'all see that little black dot anybody know what that little black dot is I have no idea what that little black dot is if you know, please leave a comment. Here is the legend. I grabbed a snapshot of the legend off that uh, city planning map. Um, I know that it's... I'll just kind of show it. If you want to look at it, you can just kind of pause the video and take a look. So that is um, kind of a, a quick look at some old maps. Oldmapsonline.org. Guys, check it out. It is awesome if you want to look at some of these really, really old maps. They have maps going back into the 1800s. But this map in particular, the uh, 1925 official city plan map, was uh, done by the Technical Advisory Corporation in New York. It was published by them. It's online at the Harvard Library Map Collection. Um, you can see the old canal bed. You can see, you can, you can see a map of, of what downtown used to look like. Um, you know, and there's so much more. Some of you guys that know a lot more about Cincinnati will really love this a lot more than I do. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you uh, enjoy this video, guys. Um, I'm going to go to some of these places. I'm going to use these maps. And we're going to see, what, we're going we're gonna to go and look at some of this stuff. And now I have a, I have a reference map for what was and what used to be. Uh, thanks a lot. If you like this video, please um, head over to my uh, YouTube site, youtube.com slash Irv TV. Uh, also, I do have a Facebook page, facebook.com slash Irv Lindsay. There you can get Facebook updates. You can also go and click click subscribe on my YouTube channel and you can get YouTube updates directly there as well. Thanks a lot for watching everybody. Enjoy the rest of your week. I'll have a new video soon and I'll see you then.